This morning, we had a potential iPhone 7S leak. Not the 8. Don't misunderstand me. It's still rumored that Apple will be releasing three new iPhones this year. And the one that we're all talking about, there's just one of them. We haven't really seen evidence that there would be two sizes of it. And yet the rumor still holds true that Apple is going to be releasing three new iPhones. Meaning the 7S and 7S Plus are still in the works and will likely be available long before the 8 comes out. And will probably be cheaper and have more in quantity. As in the iPhone 7S will be far more available. On open day not just because it has a less complicated manufacturing process as in it won't have the OLED display it's not gonna have that edge-to-edge -edge display so manufacturing it is not going to be that hard but the other reason it will be more available is because a massive majority of Apple sheep are going to want to save their money and wait for the iPhone 8 when it comes out later in the year which means demand for that regular 7s that won't be the too fancy one but might be kind of cool will be kind of mild it will probably not be as excitable as last year's release or the years before that this is kind on a minor to the side because it is not the top dog iPhone. It is no longer the best iPhone coming out, but I still think it could be kind of cool. So this morning, this image was leaked. We have no clue about it, but what we can see on the paper is the words Ion X glass and about four glass backs with a single camera hole followed by a flash locator placed in a vertical alignment. Now, some people don't believe this and think it was hypothetical or that someone made it up just so that they could get hits, and this is definitely possible. I place this likelihood at about the 50 50% meter as in it could really go either way some points to the fact that it could be real is all people leaking iPhone news right now Understand that there will be a vertical dual camera on the iPhone 8 So if these people were trying to make a concept back that looked like an iPhone 8 leak They didn't do their job very well because they're not reading the news and they're not understanding that hey The most expensive OLED iPhone is gonna have two cameras on the back And I don't know why anyone would be willing to leak the secondary iPhone coming out this year Which not a lot of people are talking about the 8's getting all the glory So if you were going to make concept glass backs to a device, why not actually make the eights? You know what, that vertical camera hole? Or if you wanted more clickbait, put Touch ID in the back, so just have a hole in the piece of glass. Or simply do not have that hole, which would point to the idea that Touch ID will not be on the back. There's just so many better ways to get an iPhone 8 leak, where this kind of seems a little Apple-ish to me. It seems like something Johnny Ive would be okay with if they were pitching the idea that, hey, some people like bezels, and they just want a good phone. They don't want to pay $1,000 for something that just makes the home button go on the display. Play. I really like this approach because this points to the idea that with the three new iPhones coming out this year, Apple is not just going to put all of their eggs in that one basket and say, the iPhone 8, the edition, this is the perfect smartphone, everything about this is great, and it's over a thousand dollars, it's really expensive, but it's perfect, and then here's the 7S. I mean, it's, it's literally just last year's iPhone. No change. We updated the specs a little bit, but that's about it. That would be boring, and I don't think Apple's interested in releasing a knockoff kind of who cares iPhone. I love it when Apple does stuff like the iPhone SE. Unfortunately, I think that was a one-time occurrence. That's why it was called Special Edition. So I wouldn't expect people to hold out on the SE 2. That wouldn't make sense. But I like it when Apple goes simple but good. So I decided to design my own concept for the 7S because I was curious. And while it's not my ideal smartphone, I'd be very okay okay with the idea of it because I think a lot of people would go for it. So the benefit of having an Ion X glass back on your 7S would first of all mean that it's stronger. Ion X glass is what we use on the Series 2 Apple Watches, which is built fairly well for durability. But also, glass back means wireless charging, which is of course coming on the iPhone 8. It's nice to know that all three of this year's iPhones will sport wireless charging, not just the expensive one. So this is going to become a new standard for Apple. It's not just a one-time $1,000 iPhone accessory. This is for every and due to rumors earlier this year, I think we can expect that this iPhone 7S will ship with fast charging or Lightning 2.0 or something like that. All we know is that the chargers that will be included in the iPhone 7S will be Lightning to USB-C cables instead of Lightning to USB-A, which they are right now. And I don't know why. They're shipping all these MacBooks that don't have that port, so you have to buy a separate cable in order to charge your own phone from your laptop. So this is already a problem. I'm just glad they're fixing it on the next one. But with USB-C, you can transfer a lot more power, which means just charging charging on your 7S will go very quickly. Now, I can't be entirely sure about this, but it looks like from the picture, there's essentially no camera bulge on this version. So this could be just the regular 7S, and we do not have a confirmed leak of what the 7S Plus will look like. Maybe that will have a dual camera in a horizontal fashion. But it makes sense to me that this year they're trying to go for uniformity, trying to make everything look the same, so that they would put the flash underneath the camera. That way it would look a bit more similar to the iPhone 8. Or perhaps it's because they're putting more of the iPhone 8's cool front-facing technology 
technology like the IR sensor, iris scanner, and 3D face unlock, maybe they're putting that by the earpiece. So they need more room there, and that's why they're pushing the flash down to the side instead of directly across as it was before. But of course, I love the idea of having an iPhone without a camera bulge. We haven't had that since the iPhone 5 and the 5S and the SE. I think that's so much more cleaner. I love that look, and it's pretty much certain now that the iPhone 8 is going to have a camera bulge. So wouldn't it be cool if when you're paying not as much and when you're paying for that more basic iPhone, you're getting kind of a cleaner design? Like, the display on the front will practically be the same. They're not going to make the bezel smaller. They're not going to remove the home button. It'll be fairly similar to the iPhone 7 you have now, but it won't rock when you sit it on a desk. Don't you miss those days? I don't know. I think there's a lot of potential for Apple to be creative with the more budget-friendly iPhone. So since there is one camera, of course, it can be better. I would really love for Apple to mimic what Samsung did with the Galaxy S8, which was do selective focus, which means using AI built into the phone, it can look at a photo, figure out what you want to focus on, and blur the background. That way you could have portrait mode on a single lens camera like the iPhone 7S. And Apple is kind of pushing in the direction of having more waterproof technology with their devices. The Series 2, waterproof up to 50 meters deep, which is great. And Apple just patented a method of ejecting water from the iPhones using sound. The exact same method they do with the Series 2. When this gets full of water, there's just a little droplet icon, you activate it, and it shoots all that water out. So maybe they're building in that similar speaker technology into the iPhone 7S and 8. That way these things can finally be granted an IP68 water resistance. Meaning you can take it in the shower, you can take it in the pool, you know, be careful with it, but it'll be fine. Because right now they have IP67, which means it's okay, but definitely don't throw it in water just for fun. It'll probably be fine, but don't, don't push its limits. Really hope these iPhone 7S's can also include the top of the line A11 processor chips that the iPhone 8 is getting, and maybe make the logic board itself smaller, that way we can have a bit of a better battery life with these guys. They improve battery life with the iPhone 7, but I think a lot of people still aren't satisfied, and I'd love to see them push that limit a little bit further with battery life. Also, of course, Bluetooth 5.0, maybe a true tone display. It was rumored that all three iPhones would support that. And my guess is that the bumper around the phone will be made of aluminum on the 7S, not stainless steel, as it's rumored to be on the iPhone 8, which is more durable and more rigid, but I think the lineup will be very similar to the Apple Watch because the cheaper sport model with the Series 2 has an aluminum bumper, whereas the more expensive one with a very clean mirror finish is made of stainless steel, and that is more durable, but of course it costs a lot more. And they're going all out with that iPhone 8, so that of course will be more expensive, but with the 7S they'll just go with aluminum, and that's where you'll get your standard matte black gold, rose gold, silver, maybe even jet black with glass that matches on the back. Could be white or black. That's, that's as far as I think it'd go. Maybe they go the rose gold gold option. I don't know, it's impossible to know. Anyway, what do you think of the idea of the iPhone 7S? I think even though it's not going to be the coolest iPhone coming out this year, it could still have a lot of potential, and a lot of people might choose that over the eight. Let me know your ideas in the comments below. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I will see you in the next one.